Let's begin on what we've heard overnight. Chepal ultimately conceding that inflation has surprised to the upside. So in your view, sir, do you think this 75 basis point hike is going to go far enough to address that challenge? Absolutely not, because the inflation will continue to rise and the Fed is still way behind the curve. If you look at the current Fed funds rate in real terms, it is still stimulative. It has a negative uh, real rate. So we are still pushing inflation higher than it was before. So let's talk about the guidance that the Fed has offered, 50 or 75 basis points again in July. How soon before we see clear evidence that inflation is starting to abate in the United States? And is it going to take a recession to get there? That is the big fear in the markets right now. Well, we are very close to a recession as it is right now. In the first quarter of this year, we already had a slight downturn in GDP. And if you look at the GDP now data from the Atlanta Federal Reserve Bank, which looks at actual data and forecasts on the basis of the actual data, they are forecasting right now exactly a zero GDP for the second quarter, for the current quarter. So you have one quarter of negative growth and one quarter of no growth. A recession typically is defined as two quarters of negative growth. We are perilously close to that because we are looking at a zero uh, growth for the second quarter. The smallest negative influence will tip us actually into a technical recession. Robert, it's Hadley in Dubai. I mean, this is something that you're very familiar with, the importance of messaging. How would you grade the Fed in their messaging at this point? Well, when I was at the Fed, there was no messaging. The Fed would just present facts and let the market guess what was happening. There were lots of Fed watchers in New York who got paid for trying to figure out what the Fed actually had done. Now the Federal Reserve tries to message And the messages tend to be wrong all the time. There wasn't any message to have a three-quarter percent increase in the Fed funds rate. Uh, You see now that all the Fed FOMC members, they're all starting to increase their projections uh, because they saw that the last projections were too low. I think by making these uh, projections, uh, this guidance to the market, I think the Fed really endangers its own credibility because they are not making policy, they're making forecasts. And they are not supposed to be forecasters. They're supposed to be policy makers and they should stick to their knitting. 